Assalamu alaikum dear viewers this is Aisha Qureshi and welcome to my channel Immersive English Dear viewers I believe grammar is an essential part of language learning it is very crucial for students to have a functional knowledge of language I mean to say that they should have capability to express their views spontaneously for this they should have strong knowledge of grammar as a language practitioner my goal is to make sure my students have a solid understanding of the basics before i move to more abstract and complicated concepts today our goal is to understand major types of pronouns and their correct usage before we get into the video please like and subscribe my channel and don't forget to click the bell icon so you never miss any of my videos let me introduce you to the types of pronouns they are person pronouns possessive pronouns reflexive pronouns relative pronouns demonstrative pronouns indefinite pronouns interrogative pronouns and reciprocal pronouns here at your side are person pronouns person pronouns are short words used to represent people or things the person pronouns are i you he she it we and they they are primarily used to avoid repetition I will give you an example to understand it well. Blossom, Zan's kitten looks innocent, but he thinks she is very clever. The person pronouns he and she. Avoid the need to repeat Zan and Blossom, the kitten. Let's move to possessive person pronouns. The possessive pronouns are mine, yours, his, hers, its, ours and theirs. They represent something that is owned and tell us who the owner is. For example, your brother gets along with mine. Here mine is the possessive person pronoun. Let me give you another example. Here is my notebook where is yours obviously yours is the possessive pronoun we got a package what about theirs which one do you think is the possessive person pronoun yes you're right it's theirs next on the list is a reflexive pronoun Reflexive pronouns are words ending in self or selves that are used when the subject and the object of a sentence are the same. For example, she believes in herself. They can act as either objects or indirect objects. The nine English reflexive pronouns are yourself, myself, himself herself oneself itself ourselves yourselves and themselves there are some common error with reflexive pronouns dear viewers i've noticed many people misuse reflexive pronouns here is an example of a typical mistake sara and myself will prepare dinner today how do we know that myself does not belong as part of the compound subject sara in the speaker in this statement if we remove sara from the statement to see if what remains functions correctly myself will prepare dinner today this does not sound correct the correct statement would be I prepare dinner today. So let's correct the statement. Sara 
and I will prepare dinner today. Here I have replaced I with myself. Let's discuss relative pronouns now. A relative pronoun is a pronoun that introduces a relative clause. It is called a relative pronoun because it relates to the word that its relative clause modifies. There are five basic relative pronouns that you can see on your screen as well. Who, whom, whose, which and that. Who, subject and whom, object are generally only for people. Whose, the word whose which is a relative pronoun is for possession. The relative clause which is for things. The relative clause that can be used for things and people only in defining relative clauses. Clauses that are essential to the sentence and do not simply add extra information. Dear viewers, the next on the list is the indefinite pronoun. An indefinite pronoun does not refer to any specific person, thing or amount. It is vague and not definite. Some typical indefinite pronouns are anybody, everybody, nobody, somebody, anyone, everyone, no one, someone, anything, everything. Nothing, something. Let me give you an example of indefinite pronouns. I will use indefinite pronouns in a few sentences. Many are interviewed, but few are hired. Dear viewers, can you tell me two indefinite pronouns I have used in this sentence? Brilliant! Yes, they are many and few. Let me give you another example. Somebody ate my food. Yes, somebody is the indefinite pronoun because you cannot exactly tell who has eaten your food. Let's move on to interrogative pronoun. Dear viewers, an interrogative pronoun is a pronoun which is used to make asking questions really very easy. There are just five interrogative pronouns. Each one is used to ask a very specific question or indirect question. Some such as who and whom refer only to people. Others can be used to refer to objects or people. As I mentioned, there are five interrogative pronouns. Let me give you a few examples. Let's take an example of interrogative pronoun what. What do you want for lunch? The next interrogative pronoun is which. She asked which bus to take. The next on the list is who. Who was driving the truck? The interrogative whom, let's use it in a sentence. Whom did you speak to? And the last on the list is whose, which is used to ask questions about people or objects. Whose car is this? Whose sisters are those? I hope you have understood the interrogative pronoun. Let's comprehend demonstrative pronoun. A demonstrative pronoun is a pronoun that is used to point to something specific within a sentence. These pronouns can indicate items in space or time and they can be either singular or plural. Well, let me give you a few examples. This is my father's car. Here this would be demonstrative pronoun. That looks like by I used to drive. Here in that statement that is demonstrative pronoun. Let me give you another example. 
These are nice clothes, but they look uncomfortable. Here, the demonstrative pronoun is these. Dear viewers, I hope you got a fair idea of what demonstrative pronouns are. The last on the list is a reciprocal pronoun. A reciprocal pronoun is a pronoun which is used to indicate that two or more people are carrying out or have carried out an action of some type with both receiving the benefits or consequences of that action. Any time something is done or given in return, reciprocal pronouns are used. There are only two reciprocal pronouns. Both of them allow you to make sentences simpler. They are especially useful when you need to express the same general idea more than once. And they are each other or one another. Let me give you a few examples. Sarah and Sophia gave each other gifts. Here I have used each other. The graduates congratulated one another after receiving degrees. Here the reciprocal pronoun that I have used is one another. Thank you so much dear viewers for being so eager to learn types of pronouns. I hope you grasped the concept well. If you liked the video and understood the concept, please like it. If still there is any query, kindly comment down below. Dear viewers, I always say, practice makes a man perfect. So keep practicing for better results. See you next time with some exciting topic. Till then, Allah Hafiz. Stay blessed.